Hi kinesiology students, it's Sarah and Julia and here is a registration video for our sophomores. Woo! So this is going to be a quick video to help you. So if you are a student sitting at home and you're like, I have no idea what courses to take. I don't know how to read my TDA. This is going to be a quick guide for you to help you create a schedule for next semester. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure on your Titan degree audit that you have completed or that you're in progress with most of your general education. So this is kind of the year where you wrap up GE, you finish that off, and then you move into those upper division kinesiology courses during your sophomore year. So make sure you're gonna go through your TDA, make sure all of your um, general education is complete or you're in progress with it or register for it in the next semester. And especially take a look at that B5. Correct. All right, there are two kinesiology courses that we do want you to have complete by your sophomore year. So the first one is Kines 202, our intro to kinesiology course. So if you know you have not taken Kines 202, you need to add that to your next semester. Another course is our anatomy and physiology course, which is Kines or Bio 210. Again, that is a course you need done before your junior year. So please make sure that you have both of those done or on your schedule for next semester. All right, so wrapping up general education, we are completing our 202 and our anatomy and physiology 210 um, or the 191A. And the next thing you're going to want to make sure that you do in your schedule is you're going to start beginning those foundation and the disciplinary core courses. So courses such as um, kinesiology 349, which is our upper division stats class, kinesiology 360, which is our movement anatomy class. Um, again, you need to have the anatomy and physiology complete before that. So always make sure that you are checking the prerequisites to make sure that they're complete or that they will be complete by the time you take your class. And then the disciplinary core section, you'll see that on your TDA, and that is your kinesiology 348, the kinesiology 371, 380, 381, and kinesiology 383. So those classes you can kind of start beginning in your so the end of your sophomore year. Again, please just make sure that you check the prerequisites and they are complete. If you do not have them complete and you register for the class, the instructor will have to remove you from the class on the first day and it is not likely that you'll get another class at that time. So please be on the lookout for yourself um, and just follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another course that could potentially be on your schedule is our upper division writing course, which is English 301. The prerequisite is your written communication. You know, for a lot of you, you took English 101. So if you completed that, you are eligible to take English 301. All right, and then the other thing that you can add, the other courses you can add to your schedule are those really awesome activity classes. So remember, we need six of them. Um, you need one from each of those areas. So everyone needs a fitness, an aquatics, a martial arts, an individual, a team, and a racket sport. So make sure that you have those either in progress or complete. Um, so add that to your schedule. We add one or two if you want. And then the last thing that we want to mention in this video is if you have not already declared a concentration, now would be the time to start exploring, looking at our website, and deciding what concentration you want to declare. <laughs> so um, if you are thinking about going into physical therapy, which is a common career path, what concentration would be best for you? Julia, do you have a response to that? It does not matter. You can choose any concentration and still go into those programs. So you choose the concentration that's going to be best for you, that you can be most successful in, meaning you earn the best grades you enjoy. Um, most of our students will continue in general studies, which is what everyone is when they come in. Um, but again, choose the concentration that's best for you. Great. And we will put the link to the online form of how to declare concentration down below. All right, so good luck with registration. If you have any other questions, schedule an appointment online with Julia or me, or join us in one of our drop-in sessions throughout the semester. Good luck, sophomores. All right, you got this. Bye. Bye.